Gravesend in Brooklyn, home to lots of Italian restaurants and stores and an allegedly still active Cosa Nostra. Our good friend and native New Yorker Cheryl Kahn joined us this time. First up, Ellen B. Spumoni Gardens for pizza lunch. They're known for their Sicilian pizza, which is square and breadier than a regular New York slice. The restaurant's been around for 80 years, and rumor has it that in 2014, there was a huge brawl here between mob members over a pizza sauce. Glad that didn't happen when we were there. Thanks to Cheryl, fellow Rambler Renata and I found out that Spumoni is actually a three-flavored ice cream, which we also tasted for the first time. Time to walk off that lunch. Gravesend wasn't always part of Brooklyn. It was one of six towns in southwestern Long Island settled by European colonizers in the 17th century. This is where Lady Deborah Moody was believed to have lived. And she's buried here across the street. Lady Moody is credited with calling this area Gravesend after its English namesake. She and a band of followers fled religious intolerance in England and were offered land by the Dutch Director General, Willem Kift, in 1643. This was of course still New Netherland at the time. Now Kift was a dodgy character. He started a brutal war against the indigenous Native American population, slaughtering more than 1,000 men, women and children. So not great beginnings for Brooklyn. We walked all around Gravesend. Saw some historic homes from the 1800s like Hubbard House. We also passed this little park honoring Antonio Mucci. Who was that, you ask? Well, many Americans believe Mucci, not Alexander Graham Bell, built the first telephone. The last Gravesend area we passed through was the Sephardic community, comprising mostly Syrian Jews. It was time for a cold refreshment, so we headed south to Sheepshead Bay. You immediately notice the Eastern European influence here. And boy, were we happy to be off our feet, drinking a cold New York brewed beer after walking about six miles. Emmons Avenue in Sheepshead Bay is right on the water with loads of restaurants. We ate at a 100-year-old staple, Randazzo's Clam Bar. Superb clam chowder and some of the best steamers we've eaten. A fitting end to the day. Please subscribe to our Walks New York YouTube channel. And if there's a neighborhood you'd like to see, let us know. Till next time, happy rambling.